Well, experts have told us that artificial intelligence is going to render a number of us jobless tomorrow, especially some of us who are sitting in some of these corporate jobs and are feeling quite comfortable. So, innovation and especially activities in the informal sector, what we call the informal sector, might be your source of income or employment tomorrow. We pick or borrow a leaf from this entrepreneur. Business ownership is a significant source of employment, and over the years, business pundits have credited entrepreneurship for being key in combating unemployment. Nora Mwanguzi, a 36-year-old single mother, is one of the Ugandans who have managed to start up own businesses. She has a fashion and design enterprise. We do crocheting. Crocheting is uh, anything that comes from threads and hooks. We can do ponchos, we do sweaters, we do baby dresses, we do booties, anything. Uh, we do doormats, we make, I do, we do tailoring and tailoring, we can do any kind of attire. This business was motivated by the need for self-employment. So I got this idea of of, of, of doing this kind of, of art or craft because I wanted to be self-employed. I wanted to do something that I loved. I wanted to do something I had passion for, something that I would always wake up to in the morning and I'm so proud to do it. I'm so happy to do it. This is how she earns from her fashion and design business. I earn by selling the products that I make, though most of the products I make them on order because Every, every client has their taste and preference. You may make many things and put them on display and end up not selling them. Nora has registered some achievements from her business. Some of the achievements I have, have achieved from my business or from the kinds of skills that I do, I've empowered women. I have been able to take care of myself. At least I am not a beggar. I am a single mother who is taking care of my 10-year-old son, paying his school fees and paying my own rent. However, there are some difficulties contended with. Yes, some of the challenges I've encountered, um, for example, where I am, it is, it is up in the market. It is the last floor. The, it is not easy for people to reach me unless someone knows me. That is when someone can come up in the market to see what I have, but it is not easy. So I have, rent is a problem because when you want to go out to a place that you're easily displayed, your things are easily displayed, the rent is too high. Passion and neatness are the secrets behind the uniqueness of her products. The uniqueness about my products is the quality. The quality that I give my product is 100%. I give it my love, I give it my passion. So when you look at, when it comes to crocheting, a person has to look at the stitches, how firm your stitches are and how neat your stitches are. So I make sure my stitches are neat and I make sure my stitches are still, uh, they're, they're, they're either soft, if it's soft, they have to be soft, well soft, but neat. She has bright future prospects. In five years, I want to see myself with this big factory that has a combination of all skills even beyond what you've seen or beyond what you see. I want, it has, it has always been my desire, it is, it's my dream and I believe I will, I will live it, I will live to see it by God's grace. From the little she had, Nora managed to build a successful business and she has a piece of advice for those wishing to start business. You do not need a lot of money to begin anything. One thing I believe in is any amount can start something. You do not have to first accumulate at 10 million, 3 million, 300 million to begin something. Like I said, I began with beads, with making jewelry, which I began with 50,000. I went on topping one when my clients would buy. They buy the, the amount they give me. I go back in, I just go back and restock materials and reproduce and produce then sell. Entrepreneurs are frequently thought of as national assets to be cultivated and motivated to the greatest possible extent. Great entrepreneurs have the ability to change the way we live and work. If successful, their innovations may improve standards of living, create jobs and contribute to the growth of the economy. <laughs>